Okay, I'm here with Leonard Walker who is showing me how to do the oxalic acid for Varroa mite control. So what he's doing here is measuring out his oxalic acid and he's putting it into the heating element which will be inserted into this hive. Um, apparently the oxalic acid, this is about the measurement, it says it's fairly forgiving um, on the amount but here we are setting it into the heating element which is attached to a positive and negative that goes along a long cable to the truck battery but you could have a free standing battery that you carry along with you um, what are we looking for hive tool I have one that does not have a hook on it. But um, you could have it attached to a cable that just has a free standing battery, but he says that that usually only lasts for about seven hives, kind of depending, give or take. Um, so he just does it on the truck and then moves the truck every so often. So he's using his hive tool to remove the entrance reducer. Then he's gonna take that heating element there insert it into the hive. It's going to take the, um, this is a quite an active hive. I'm going to go ahead and back up. <laughs> he's put wet towels to block the entrance to keep those fumes in. And then he's going to go on over to the truck, connect his positive to start the heating and set his timer for about two to two and a half minutes. After that two and two or two and a half minutes has run up, he will remove the positive from the battery here and just clip it onto this little battery handle. And then he will set the timer for another two minutes approximately to just let those fumes circulate throughout the hive. And then after that, he will remove the heating element, dip it into this bucket here to cool it down, wipe out the heating element, and then add more oxalic acid and move on to his next hive. And here we see the smoker showing us that that is the direction of the wind, so therefore we don't really want to stand downwind of it because those fumes will come out and it's apparently rather toxic to people and varroa mites. That's about all I have. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. So thank you for joining us today and good luck.